We have asked uh, practically everyone we knew in the field, uh, and there were designers, critics, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, manufacturers, uh, whoever has a view on uh, design, and uh, we collected a very, very long list, uh, and then after a process of selection, we came up uh, with uh, the 999 design classics. We are, of course, very attached to the book, uh, but the iPad uh, is quite a different experience because uh, uh, when you have the book, uh, uh, first of all, you have three volumes, you have over 3,000 pages, uh, and uh, uh, they are quite heavy, the, you cannot uh, take with you wherever you are. So the iPad has exactly the same amount of information in terms of uh, text, uh, images, uh, and uh, information. But uh, on top of that, what you can do with the iPad, uh, you can browse very easily, you can search very easily, and uh, you can uh, um, see objects uh, in a sequence that is different from one of the book. So, for example, if you want to see all the Achille Castiglione designs, uh, you can just uh, uh, search uh, for the designer and then a gallery of uh, all the product designed by this great Italian designer will be displayed on, on, your, on your iPad. So this is something that clearly you can have in the book, uh, because in the book the sequence is strictly chronological. You can filter by category, you can filter by designer, so you can uh, look at uh, all the chairs together with all the airplanes, if you want to, or uh, all the chairs designed by IMS. but you can also have uh, a more wider search uh, in which uh, you can put uh, whatever words comes to your mind and uh, the iPad will search not only in uh, the label of, of the object but also in uh, all the text. If you look at, the, at all the thousand objects in one go, they will be displayed automatically in chronological order. But then uh, you can also shuffle them, so you can just uh, get a random uh, sequence, or you can organize them uh, um, following the filter that you have chosen. You slide the object and you will have uh, the following object, or you can also, because there are more than one image for, for each object, so you can decide it to go from one image to the other or from one object to the other. We thought that the audience of the design classic is uh, clearly an audience that would be interested uh, in having the experience of the iPad, who, by the way, is a fantastic object and is probably a design classic. And also is the fact that sometimes it's frustrating that you have so many information in three books and you can have them with you. Uh, it's great that wherever you are, you can always have a look uh, at uh, uh, all the design classic that we have selected and reading the text uh, and uh, uh, it's very easy to, uh, to browse and to find what, what you are looking for. We have decided that for this uh, new edition it was time uh, to try to find a new object and uh, it was uh, quite natural for us uh, to add uh, the iPhone, that was clearly the uh, things that was just before the iPad because uh, it's an object that perfectly um, respond uh, to the characteristic of a design classic that are written, well, were written on the cover of the book uh, and now are in the tr introduction of the iPad in which uh, they are objects that uh, in a way uh, put together beauty, functionality and long-lasting life. We always try to pick uh, the object that was at the beginning of a process. So in a way the iPad uh, is the second generation of the iPhone in terms uh, of uh, uh, the breakthrough. Uh, the iPhone was really something completely new. It changed the way we behave and uh, the iPad is a kind of subsequential uh, development of, uh, of a fantastic object. One of my favorite objects is the paper clip because uh, it's uh, in the paper clip uh, you have the essence of design. You have a beautiful design, you have uh, a simple mechanism, uh, you have uh, uh, something that never changed in uh, hundreds of years and uh, still the same, uh, it's still very functional and everyone uses it.
all the objects by Dieter Rams. Uh, some of them, especially the brown one, are not in production anymore because uh, the technology uh, is obsolete. But there are still uh, objects that are extremely influential for uh, uh, even the youngest uh, generation. Well, for me, good design is functionality and uh, is uh, durability. And the durability is not only in terms of the technology, but also in terms of the shape. So if uh, uh, an object uh, uh, cannot uh, live uh, for many, many years uh, and people get bored of it uh, or uh, it doesn't, it's not fashionable anymore, for me it's not good design. I think that uh, if an object uh, has been designed without the separation between shape and functionality, but the two things are uh, merged together, that's uh, what makes an object extremely successful. When the shape uh, has a meaning in terms of functionality. Now, I think that it's always very frustrating when we get an object and we have to read a manual. And I think that this is why the iPhone was uh, so successful. It's an object that is so intuitive uh, that uh, even someone who hasn't a uh, very good uh, technological experience uh, can use it at its best. We are producing amazing content and this content can uh, be then given to the public in very different forms. So the Design Classic is uh, our first uh, iPad application but uh, we are working on few other projects uh, because uh, we think that uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, potentiality in the in what we do and in the content that we create